Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to decapsulate brine shrimp. It's very simple, easy. When I learned this, I, that's the only that's the only way I hatch brine shrimp now is to decapsulate them first. So let's get to All it. All right, first you're going to need first a small water bottle, an airline tubing. You're going to need some ice. You can use ice cubes. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to need a larger container to put extra cold water in. Ice cold water is the key here. Um, the chemical reaction between the ice cold water and bleach is going to cause the shells to disintegrate and come off of the eggs. Your ice cold water is going to help keep your eggs in stable condition. You can, after the brine shrimp is decapsulated, you can go ahead and feed the eggs straight to your fish or you can make your brine solution and go ahead and hatch your brine shrimp. Now when you go ahead and hatch your brine shrimp it's not going to take as long as it usually does because you've already got your shells decapsulated off of them. So what you need to do is put your however many brine shrimp you're going to hatch in your bottle with a, about a cup of water and it needs to be ice cold. Make sure your airline tubing is put it on really high and really gets the uh, eggs agitating really good. Now you're going to want to soak this for about 40 minutes or so. After 40 minutes you're going to want to add a cup of bleach. Let me get my bleach here. Sorry. Now your bleach is not going to hurt your brown shrimp at all. Um, Brine Shrimp Direct, they use chloramine, I can't remember the word, but they use a stronger bleach than your normal bleach that you're going to get from the store. So I'll go ahead and I'll put this cup of bleach in and after you put your bleach in, going to notice that your brine shrimp are going to start turning from this brown color into an orange color. The orange color is what you want. I'll be back and show you what it looks like after a minute of bleach added to this. And the bleach is probably going to go to about right here. Okay, it's been bottle. about a minute. You can see that the colors turn in s slightly different. This is going to take about four minutes. Um, while we're waiting, this is the brine shrimp that I'm using. If I can get it to focus. There we go. Um, this is coming from Brine Shrimp Direct. Pretty sure this is one of the best prices I've found on Brine Shrimp. This right here will last you a very long time. Especially if you don't have very many fish. Um, I've got 36 tanks here. This is going to last me at least two months or three months. And the price isn't bad at all. I don't remember how much it was. Not much. Um, show you some shrimp. There 
there's one. Show you some stuff while we're waiting. Here's one of the peace lilies that I've got adjusted to grow in an aquarium. There it is above. We've got some seed shrimp going on in here. If you can see the little things swimming around. I'm going to start trying to use those as a live food for some of these fish. The guppies and the betas in here really love to eat them. If anybody's interested in trying a sample of seed shrimp, send me a message and I'll try to send you a few, ship some out for you. I'm not really sure what to charge on those. Here's some more fish. Another tank. There's pineapple sword tails that's for the giveaway. Okay, you can see this is starting to turn more of an orange color now. It's almost getting there. and it naturally foam up. You can put a little bit of vegetable and oil in here and it won't foam as much. I don't bother with it. Here's some of the platies. I've got ordered a propane gas heater for emergency heat in the winter in case our electric goes out. I uh, wouldn't be able to keep all these tanks warm especially with weather like there is today I think the low was 2 this morning so here's some of the platies there's some smaller ones down in there I'm at the top, but I can't get the angle on the camera. There they are back there. Almost ready. There's one of my boy betas. If I can get his colors. Okay. Let's, let's see here. Almost. I'll go over here and show you the uh, angelfish tank. There's some of them. Here's some baby bettas. Here's one right there.
Some of the other ones are just so tiny, you're not going to be able to probably see them in here. Okay, the brown ship should be about ready. So let's take it out. And get these rinsed. Let's see how I can do this. I'm gonna put the camera right here for a minute, guys. Sorry. Okay. We're gonna go to the sink. Gonna get some light going here. All right. You're gonna pour everything in here. And this is a reusable coffee filter. is rinse these really good with cold water. I have a few shells left. I didn't let them go quite long enough. That's okay. you get these rinsed, you can go ahead and feed these, or you can make your bronze solution and hatch them. They won't take as long to hatch because the shells aren't there. You can see most of that is just orange Nepali eggs. I've got a few shells in there. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not feeding anything that can't digest the shell right now anyway. So that's how you encapsulate brine shrimp. Once they're Nice and rinsed, they're good. You can just uh, put these in a another jar with a little bit of water. Get you a syringe and feed your babies, your guppies, anything. This is great food for all your fish. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And remember, I'm doing a giveaway after I hit 250 subscribers. So, get the word out. Thank you for watching.